Welcome to TA Tech. So you're here because you have Windows or you're switching to Windows on the Steam Deck. And a lot of people are going to come for you and tell you that Windows is really, really bad, especially the Steam OS community. So we're not going to start this fight here. I'm going to be expecting a lot of comments. But yeah, Windows is better than Steam OS. Simple, because you want to run all the games that you want when you buy a gaming device, especially the games that support entities such as Call of Duty or FIFA. So anyway, here is Windows. I put up with the problems just to play these games. So let's talk about these problems. What are you going to face when you run Windows on the Steam Deck? So the first issue that you're going to face, and that's the most pressing issue that will come when you install Windows, is the controller support. So the controller support does not come natively when you install Windows. All the Steam OS games are going to run fine. So if you run a game from Steam, it's going to run really fine. The controller is going to be running without any problems. But if you're running any game that is outside of Steam, let's say you install a game from Game Pass and then the controller is not going to run at all. Uh, so there is a lot of solutions for this uh, that have been posted online. The community has been really great. So there are four solutions for you here. Uh, the first one is Glossy. So Glossy is a, a is a controller support app that only uh, deal with this issue. So it will make your sub controller support run on any Steam game. But I don't really like it because it doesn't provide any additional functionality. As for the second one is SWICD. It's also something that gives you the controller support and nothing else. But it has a lot of issues. So people tend to choose one of the next two. Uh, the first one is Handheld Companion, is the one I chose here, as you can see here. Let me show you my Steam Deck and uh, Handheld Companion is running on here. So this uh, is controller support, it's going to support your controller for any game outside of Steam. And also will have other stuff as well. So you know with Steam OS you have this menu that lets you change the TDP and uh, other stuff. So if I press here, you'll get a menu that will ch you can change the TDP, you can change the clock speed, you can change the brightness, and uh, you can change the resolution and also change the refresh rate. So this one is really good because it shows up in the game and you can add other stuff, for example, showing uh, a keyboard in the game because the keyboard will not show natively in the game. So the other one is Steam uh, Deck Tools. A lot of people use this. A lot of people have uh, told me or advised me to s switch from Handheld Companion into Steam Deck Tools. Yeah, Steam Deck Tools has more features than Handheld Companion, but it's not user-friendly. It's not like Handheld Companion. It's not going to show an overlay while you're playing the games. It, it, it's more of a... If you're a PC gamer and you like a lot of tweaking, Steam Deck Tools is the one for you because it has more settings and you can change the fan speed and you can change a lot of stuff. I believe that Handheld Companion is adding the fan speed uh, changer also, but it's just more user-friendly, has a, a better UI for you to use. Uh, and I just chose it and not the Steam Deck Tools because it's not the one for me. It's not user-friendly at all. So one uh, other issue that you'll face when you run Handheld Companion is just to make sure, uh, when you run a game on Steam, uh, make sure to switch off Handheld Companion. So the reason for that, if you run a Steam game and you have another companion running at the same time, you're going to have double input because it's going to think there's two controllers uh, connected at the same time for the same user or something like that. But it's going to run uh, double input or it's going to mix up your input. So, for example, you click B and then it's going to click A or something else. And your all, your controller is going to be just rubbish, to be honest with you. So just uh, look up for that and uh, make sure to turn it off when you run a Steam OS game. So another issue we're going to talk about with the Windows on the Steam Deck is the user interface. So the user interface of Windows on a PC or a laptop is amazing. Uh, it's one of the best UIs out there. But when you put it on the Steam Deck... It's not the best because you want to use the touch screen and the touch screen is um, really, really small uh, and it's not touch friendly really. So when you're touching something, it's kind of hard to touch the right thing at the right time. So there's a lot of times I want to uh, minimize a window, I close it instead. So uh, one solution to this is just to increase the zoom. Uh, so uh, make it to 125% instead of 100%. But it's still not going to make it the best. It's not. It doesn't compete with Steam OS because it's made for touchscreen. Everything is bigger and it's easier to touch. But the workaround with this is you still have your uh, touchpad. So the touchpad works perfectly. This one's for scrolling and this one is for moving the mouse. So you're not going to have a lot of issues. But sometimes you, you see yourself uh, tending to go in to use the touchscreen instead of using the mouse. Um, I, I do that a lot because the touch screen when you touch somewhere the uh, let's say you want to type and the keyboard is going to come out So if you click with the mouse 
on somewhere where you want to type the keyboard is not going to come out you have to touch it for it to come out so that's uh, actually annoying you have to keep switching and uh, i wish that valve goes ahead and makes um a ui for windows so we, we've seen a lot of companies such as uh, the new asos rog that is coming out uh the asos rog ally that's coming out it has a whole ui for windows just like the one x player and uh, other um gaming handhelds uh, but with the steam deck uh you're stuck with the normal windows ui and also switch to tablet mode but this one is actually more annoying than the normal windows so i just make sure when you switch to windows that you are okay with this issue because it's gonna annoy you a little bit it's not the best uh ui it's not user friendly but if you're here just for the gaming and as i say always a gaming handheld is for gaming and uh, if you can't run all the games then you have to switch to windows because there are so many games you can't run on the steam os especially when it comes to game pass game pass is a good value for money uh, i pay 10 bucks and i get 500 games i can play anytime but then if you have steam os you can't really run it you have to run it on the cloud and cloud gaming sucks i know i i, I do review a lot of cloud gaming on my channel but cloud gaming really sucks so switching to Windows, just make sure you're okay with the UI being a, a, a bit harder to navigate through. And um, yeah, that's, that's about it.